I am going to Cocoa Beach today. I've never been to Cocoa Beach since moving to Florida about a, a year ago. I've actually only taken one beach trip and that was to Siesta Key. I did go to Vero Beach, but we don't count that as a beach trip because I kind of just stayed at the pool the whole time. It should be called Vero Pool, but anywho, <laughs> I came to Wawa to fill up gas. The motherland. Since moving to Florida, I think 99% of the time I will always come to Wawa to fill up gas because New Jersey girl, things like that. It is a little bit of an overcast day, so I'm hoping that I think Coco's about an hour away. Hopefully it clears up. It's been raining, raining, raining the past couple days. I had a six hour, 45 minute shift yesterday and it downpoured the entire time. It was very sad. I like a bit of rain, but in doses. When it's not the entire shift, it's okay. I have my Spotify playlist going and we got things like Marry You by Bruno Mars and Gabrielle Brett Eldridge already came on so I know it's gonna be a good drive. I love driving. I think driving is like one of the most relaxing things that you can do. You get your mind off of things, you have your music going, I love it. It's not looking too good. I was thinking I was gonna be okay because usually when there are storms it doesn't happen until afternoon, late afternoon and it is currently, it's almost noon. But I didn't think that it was gonna happen this early. Also, I was just remembering, me and my family would always drive down to Florida every year. And I remember we would get so excited when we would see the one Wawa that was in Orlando. And now, they are everywhere. I have at least three within a 10 minute radius of my apartment. And they're on every exit and I'm I'm just happy for them. Congrats, Wawa. It started. It's ironic. This is like my summertime playlist. Happy sunny vibes. Here comes the sun by the Beatles just came on. Not today. I made it to the beach and I can already say that I'm not as impressed as I was with Siesta Key. I feel like Coco is more of a tourist beach, which is why I was so surprised when I showed up to Siesta Key and there was free parking and public bathrooms. The parking here is trash. Trash. They have meter parking, but you have to do it all through an app on your phone, and it's $5 per hour. That's robbery. The New Jersey beaches sometimes have meters, and it will be like 25 cents for an hour. So when I pulled up and it was $5 an hour, I couldn't do it. And then there was one public parking lot, and it was $20. I also cannot do that. <laughs> My brain doesn't allow me to pay that much money to park, to sit on a beach. But here it is. The waves are kind of waving right now. I also got, where is she? I got a Jersey Mike's sub, Italian. That was also a robbery. I got the smallest size, and it was still like $8. Here we are living life. There's also like not a lot of people here, which I'm not surprised about because there was no parking. This was all that the parking allowed for, it was like 10 families. <laughs> I also have to put you on to some things because I have been scouring, is that a word? I have been looking all over the world for bathing suits this year. Now I love bathing suits. It's my favorite thing in the world to wake up, put on a bathing suit, put on a cover-up, we'll be getting to the cover-up in a minute, and just go and swim. I love it so much. I got this bathing suit, I'm done looking this year because it was, it gave me too much of a headache and I have enough now. Um, but I got this one at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's Kalia by Carrie Underwood and it fits lovely. I like it. I got two of them in two different colors. And then my cover-up, there is a Airy American Eagle outlet by Universal Studios, by Fun Spot area. And usually when it's an outlet, like Airy and American Eagle, it's kind of like a regular store with just a bigger clearance section. This one is actually a clearance outlet. So the entire store is discounted. I got my dress for like $12. I got two other things for $8 each. It was amazing. It's called, I believe it's called the Airy Clearance Outlet by Fun Spot. It's awesome, I love it. And I didn't know about it until 
about a week ago. So now I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna read my book, The Girl Who Came Home, given to me by Grandma. I know that when Grandma gives me a book, it's gonna be a good read because Grandma reads a lot and she only gives me the best ones. This one is a novel about the Titanic. It's been really good so far. I'm excited to finish it. I just went and stood in the water for a bit and I must say the one thing that Florida beaches will always have over New Jersey beaches is the ocean temperature. It's so warm, it's so comfortable. Even in the mid of summer in New Jersey, you walk into the water and it's freezing. Like you have to go full body in or else you're gonna be shivering the entire time. Here's my Jersey Mike sub for all who are wondering. I got the original Italian, I think, with lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, banana peppers, um, oil, vinegar, and oregano. Yum! That did not last very long, <laughs> but that's okay. There were just too many gray clouds in the sky. The wind was picking up. I did not want to be stranded on the beach in the downpours because it's been raining and raining and raining the past few days and it hasn't stopped. But I think I'm gonna take a trip to Ron John Surf Shop because if Coco is known for anything, it's gonna be the Ron John Surf Shop. And I remember it used to be the only one, like ever, because when we were driving down to Florida, we would always see the billboards and I always wanted to go, never been. I have been to Ron John now because there's one at Disney Springs, but we'll see how this one compares. The one at Disney Springs isn't my favorite. They do have brands like Billabong and Roxy and stuff like that. The wage for CPs is going up, but it happens to be the week before I leave. So I will be getting paid like one and a half weeks of the upped wage, which is good. Also, there's Kung Fu tea here. I love Kung Fu tea. There's one at Rowan near my house and there was one in Elizabethtown, well, Mannheim, I think. I'm so happy, I got my Kung Fu tea. I get the strawberry lemonade with the mango popping boba. But I was looking at the menu after I had ordered this because this used to be my drink order, but now they have coffee options. I don't think they used to have coffee options. They have a coffee slushy. I would probably get that with boba. And then they have just regular coffee with boba. I already had coffee today. Sometimes one coffee is enough. Sometimes you just need a coffee boba. But the strawberry lemonade one is delicious. I still love it. It is a little tangy. <laughs> Not tangy, but like there's flavor. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of water in because it is powerful. This is a big store. I don't know what I was expecting. Whoa, there's a parking garage next to it? I don't know what that's for. Maybe that's for the parking. Maybe that's beach parking. <laughs> I'll take a look. I'll take a look, but it's a big store That's a big store and when I walked in immediately it felt like I had already been here and I was thinking, and I'm like, I haven't been here. It reminds me of, there's a store at south of the border that is set up exactly like this with the two stories. It's that mixed with Bass Pro Shop. And next door is the Coco Beach Surf Company. It looks like kind of a mall-ish type. It has a Starbucks, a Four Points, a Salt Life. I'm gonna go in and see what it's all about. you can see but the rain finally came that one surf shop was nothing to write home about it was a regular beach shop t-shirts keychains stuff like that I'm sad that it's raining I was gonna walk over there's a Bell's outlet across the street I used to go to Bell's outlet every time I would come to Florida because they had bathing suits we're back to the bathing suits I tried on probably I want to say 50 bathing suits this season and I purchased three new ones 
one from Target. Target is usually my go-to, I must say. Um, but this year, it just was not it. I could find something wrong with every single one that I tried on, which is usually not a problem. I usually just pick the ones that have the least amount wrong with them. But this year, I wasn't having it. I use bathing suits every day in the summer. I wear them for years and years and years to come. And so, it's something that you can invest a little bit in. It's like shoes. You walk on them every day. Just buy good ones. Although, I haven't bought new shoes <laughs> since like middle school. I might drive over to Bell's Outlet. It's a weird drive though, cause I'm gonna have to just go straight across like five lanes of traffic. I'll try. I've run over two curbs today. I am confused. There's a Bell's Outlet, then a flip-flop shops, then a nail salon, then a beach jewelers, and then another Bell's Outlet? Is the whole thing connected or are there two different Bell's Outlets right next to each other? There were two Bell's Outlets right next to each other. One of them was for clothes and one of them is like house things and more. <laughs> um, but I went into the clothes one. You know, it's so hard when you're shopping at stores like Bell's or TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, even thrift shopping. There is such a fine line between cute and the ugliest thing you've ever seen. And I ruled everything that I tried on as the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <sighs> Especially in the old lady sections. <laughs> it's weird to say, but you can, you can find some gems in there. Like one of my favorite dresses is from my grandma, but some of the stuff just is not it. I think now I'm just gonna drive around the town, see what they have. I'm probably gonna drive along the shoreline. I think I'm probably gonna pass, is it Satellite Beach? Maybe that's too far away. I don't know. I'm just going to go keep going. Keep going down the shore. These stores called Surf Style are everywhere. Even just on this road, I've seen three or four of them. They're everywhere. Upon driving down a little further, they do have parallel parking that has a 90 minute limit. Now, I would have done that if I had driven a little further. I think this is actually Cocoa Beach where I am now. I saw a sign that said downtown. And when I put in my maps, Cocoa Beach, it brought me to the first place. Um, that was the Cocoa Beach Pier spot. But now that I've gone down a little further, there is more street parking that I wish I would have known about before I arrived. I think it's gonna be time to head home. It's still raining and the sky doesn't look like it's gonna be letting up anytime soon. We are getting into those summer months. It's gonna be rainy every day. Now. Would I come back to Coco? I don't know if I would pick it over another beach. Um, it is the closest one. It took me about an hour to get here, which is great. But there was a time in my life in New Jersey where I would be going to the beach every weekend, hour drive. I would usually pick Stone Harbor. It's a nice little town. That's the thing about Coco versus Stone Harbor. Stone Harbor is a beautiful little beach town. You have the beach houses, you have um, businesses, you have things to do. Here, it's kind of like there's a beach and then it's just normal life. It doesn't really have a beach feeling, although there are palm trees, but I expect that out of Florida. <laughs> I've been wanting to get back to Clearwater, but that one is much further. It's about two hour, two and a half hour drive, and you have to take I-4, which I've been trying to avoid while I've been living here. Siesta Key was very nice. That also didn't really have a beach town vibe, but it's a, a small town with a beach, and the public parking and public bathrooms made it for me. Now, my opinion may have been changed if I had seen that parking along the street beforehand, but my maps, my Google Maps let me down. I think I'm gonna get Taco Bell on the way home. Uh, my friend who was in my last video, Dion, she had told me at work the other day, she's like, I've been wanting Taco Bell. And I'm like, you know what? Me too. So Dion, I'm gonna get go get my Taco Bell. This was a very nice change to a day. I found that living in Orlando, it's very easy to just do everything Disney. I'll go to the theme parks, I'll go to the resorts, I'll stay very local. So today I got to see another part of Florida, which I'm very happy about. I also need to get back to Universal. I have been enough times to where my pass has been worth it, but I haven't 
been going as much as I had hoped. I feel like Universal is one of those parks where you really need to go with people because it's a lot of thrill rides. You want to be with people when you're experiencing those kind of thrill rides. When I'm at Disney and by myself, I can do rides like the People Mover, I can do Carousel of Progress, all by myself, very slow paced, people watching, I enjoy it. But Universal, you definitely need people <laughs> to be with you. All right, time to go get Taco Bell. Just remember, you change the world when you change your mind. Bye bye from Miss American Sky.